One of the critical things that we do in The Gathering of Eagles is capture these great stories, uh, both teach and inform folks, but also be used to inspire folks. Once you hear their story, it's like, hey, they're just regular folks like us, and they were put in X, Y, and Z scenario, and here's what they did to kind of get through it and what they had to rely on. General Frank Klotz, uh, he's a Lieutenant General, retired. He was the first operational uh, commander of Global Strike. We went out, spent some time in his home, and no one really fully owned that distinct mission set. They said, hey, we, we need to get back to it so someone's an advocate for it. Have the opportunity to sit, sit with somebody like that and hear from them is a good experience. And I think his leadership abilities and leadership philosophy transcends any specific thing he does. I think we're having a good leader that's being recognized for the leadership. I think the global strike was their situation, but it could have been any situation that he was given. I think he would have taken the right approaches to handle it. And he had some really good insights talking about his experience when he thought he was doing a good job standing up global strike. And he thought he was doing all these great things, and he, he certainly was. But then on a climate assessment survey that he got, and there was a particular non-commissioned officer from a maintenance unit that was complaining about how the bathroom didn't work in their hangar, and they had to walk out into the snow a mile or whatever it was to find a porta potty It really struck home for him in the saying that, hey, I might be doing these amazing things, but if it doesn't reach somebody's daily environment, it's for naught, really. And uh, the reason why that struck home is uh, at Lake and Heath, there's lots of construction projects, and we lose sight of like that airman that you know is dealing with a doorknob that's broken off or a, a roof that leaks. And his uh, retelling or recounting of that experience really, man, that's something that I want to make sure that I do or think about when I get back out into the field.